Well, this week on XG News, Wood wins, so too does Fisk, and a whole lot more. All that and more coming up on this week's edition of XT News. Your golf summary of the week that was. Well, welcome back to Nexty News, presented by www.thenexty.ca. The good, bad, and ugly of golf. So, I'm Alex, this is Nexty News, and what can I say? Well, gosh darn it, I got Georgia on my freaking mind! You're killing me, Georgia! This is the week! Actually, there's been action going on down there for about a week already. Uh, first of all, starting off in the biggest news of the week, at least as far as I'm concerned, we had a winner in the 2024 Augusta National Women's Amateur. Of course, the finals are held over at Augusta National, and it was a freshman that attends the Florida State University in Tallahassee, wrong Florida school. But uh, anyways, congratulations go to Lottie Wo for her outstanding victory. And with that victory at the Augusta National Women's Amateur, she punches her ticket into all the other majors this year on, on exemptions, uh, other than the LPGA or the KPMG LPGA Championship. So that's a, a big win. We'll see how she how she fares. Uh, so congratulations, that's absolutely amazing. Uh, well done. Sticking with the LPGA, I mean, I have to. I have to stick with the LPGA. I can't go away from, from the story at all. Uh, we had the match play uh, presented by MGM. And first of all, I like the format on the LPGA for this one. It's so much different than what the, what the PGA Tour does. But uh, it came down to two in the end. We had Ireland's Leona Maguire. And then we had the red hot Nelly Corda, who was coming off a natural hat trick. Well, I don't know what it is for four in a row, but here we are. We're talking about Nelly Corda again. Um, she is looking basically unbeatable at the moment. How long can she keep this up for? We have no idea. I mean, this might be forever and a half. But Nelly Corda, she was your winner this week on the LPGA. Uh, four in a row, so that's four feet. Four straight weeks. Crazy golf. Crazy golf. Um, heading back to Georgia, uh, I just have to talk briefly about the Corn Ferry Tour. Um, the Savannah Championship was, was played there. Now, I haven't been to Augusta National, but many of you have, and I think a lot of people do stay in Savannah during the week of the Masters. So, we had the Corn Ferry Tour playing the Savannah Championship, and that was won by Stephen Fisk. Stephen, congratulations on that outstanding victory. Uh, boy, I use the word outstanding a lot, don't I? But anywho, uh, the Masters actually shows that we're in a more transition than, than we think. Yes, you had a lot of guys that are going over that, that went over to live. I mean, you know, beat the dead horse. Uh, and, of course, there's, I think, what... Is there like 20 in the field this week down at the uh, down at the Masters, or maybe it's like 12 uh, if you include Taylor Gooch, who just got in. But anyways, you have a lot of guys that are getting their thanks, but you're too old. Letters in the mail, but they hit a certain age now, and uh, you know they're we're going to be losing a lot of players over the next several years. So it, it only makes sense that. You know the masters is, is going to transition you know we're going to see a lot more people like your jake knapps in the field we're going to see um actually bachas who who won this week uh, at down at uh the valero texas open and i mean what can you say about him he played with the shoulder being popped out i mean what a what way to grind and you can see that this result was going to come for him for about two years now i would say uh, you know maybe maybe three but definitely two years. So expect to see a lot more young guns. And as long as we have the two 
main male tours segregated, playing against each other. We're going to see diluted fields either way. Live Golf, if you look at the at the bottom end of their roster, the scores aren't very good. But you can say that about the PGA Tour as well. You know, you have your guys like Kieran Vincent over over there, uh, who got in on that on that promotion thing. Uh, he qualified to, to play over there. Then you have Anthony Kim, but then you also have. You know, there's there's your lesser guys on the PGA Tour as well. It's just it's just the way that it is right now. Um, it's almost like when the NFL went on strike and we had scabs, scab, 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 scab. But anyways, the main point being, we're here. This transition, and just just enjoy the ride. We have a lot of golf to watch. And lastly, speaking of Live Golf, they played down in Miami this week, Live Golf Miami. And we had Dean Burmeester. I always thought it was two E's spelling his name, but apparently it's only one. Uh, so is it Burmeester? Burmeester? Tomato, tomato? Uh, and then we had on the uh, on the team side of things, we had John Robbins, uh, which also includes Terrell Hat, winning the event. So that would be 13, winning the team side. So, it's a historic day here. We're on the verge of a total solar, solar eclipse. Niagara Falls is just that way. And as you can see behind me, we have fantastic weather for this once in a lifetime, apparently. Next week's gonna be 120 years. 120 goddamn years. But then another six to 20 years, so I don't know what the hell is going on. But anyways, Great weather for for a solar eclipse, a truly historic week, and of course, next week, at this time, we'll be talking about a new Masters Champion. So, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next team. Freaking goals, man. Freaking goals.